pretty. Hey guys, welcome to week nine, day three. Today is Wednesday. I've been let out of work two hours early today, so it gives me time to come out here and enjoy the trails a little bit before the sun comes down. I did get my new Challenger ATR4s, and they're only recently on the market, which is quite good. Uh, I've been looking forward to these. Uh, my old, my well, my current running pair have done like 600, 700 k, so I'm going to need these for the training. I uh, haven't worn them yet. I thought I'd get a before shot of what they actually look like before I take them out for a run on the trails and see what they look like when I'm done. I'm uh, going to do two, no, I'm going to do four loops of the 2.3k circuit, so I'll be just over 10k's or very close to it, roughly. Uh, yeah, uh, see you out on the run. Whew. Okay, first impressions. Super comfortable. Um, hard to be out on this trail though. By the way, I knew I was going to be topless on this run. That's why I was wearing the grey shirt earlier. <laughs> um, they feel super supportive. But then again, when you go from a shoe that's done 700 k's to ones that have been opened out of the box what five minutes ago, they better feel really supportive. <sighs> anyway, um, just power walking the ups. It's supposed to be an easy 10, but these are trail shoes. Actually, they're a mix. You can use these on trail and road. That's why I like them so much. Uh, but every time I get a new pair of hokers, especially if they're like a hybrid or trail only, I come straight here to see how well they support me on downhills. So, nice fast downhill, coming up in about 800 metres, I'll see how it handles it. Bye. Okay, that's one loop done. Had to make a uh, quick pit stop after that loop. <laughs> Thank God there's toilets here. Uh, so I didn't have a look at them when I was in the toilet. But uh, it feels like the side of them have already blown out. I might have a look now. I don't know. They're fine. I think it's just the material just feels a little bit weird maybe I need to tighten them up a little bit um, I'm only going to do one more loop with the GoPro and then yeah <laughs> fun times here so this will be the last loop with the GoPro and then I'll do two without it, just so I don't have to worry about carrying this thing. I need to disconnect and enjoy the run. I think that's why I haven't been doing so many GoPro videos. I'll still do a daily video. I might just have something else in the background. Uh, anyway, see you soon. I've had some ripper thoughts going through my head even though I've been carrying the GoPro just thinking about a little bit about Buffalo Stampede next week and a lot about the finish of my 100 I know it's going to hurt How much? 
is beyond me. I think this training and the run itself will be it'll be something it'll be like who the fuck am I <laughs> I had my next door neighbour but behind me come over and they're like uh, is Matthew here? I'm like, yeah, I'm Matthew. Like, we've lived near each other most of my life. But, um, I don't know, I guess I don't connect with my neighbours that well. Uh, but, they're like, holy shit, you look fit, you look strong, completely different. <laughs> So, what's going to happen in 15 weeks when I attempt a 100k run? Am I going to look the same as I do now? Am I going to look better? Stronger? Faster? Um, or am I going to be the same me? I don't know who I'm going to be. I'm going to be Future Maddie. I'll be future Maddie. Not past or present Maddie. I change with every second of every day. I'm, I guess I'm doing today. Doing what I can today for what I wouldn't be able to do tomorrow if I didn't do it today. I don't know. It's so pretty here at the moment. Look at all that nice sunlight in my forest. So lucky to be here, I guess. That's the thrush. <laughs> Lift your knees, buddy. <sighs> so yeah. I'll be new. I think it'll just change my life. Hell, Buffalo Stampede changes my life every year. Every year I get better. What will this year bring? More success? Hell, I'm doing two fucking runs at Buffalo this year. One of them's with Dad. I hope I go slow enough and but at the same time quick enough so that I can recover. Just take it easy, be done by what, 12 at the latest. And back down at right. I'll see Becky Matthews in for her 20. Maybe even go back for a up with the last few Ks like Liz did for me last year. I'm sure she'll. Uh, it's big climbs. I would say I oh, should be back down by the time I get back down. But sometimes you just don't know. I'm not putting any pressure on anyone. The pressure I put on is usually just on myself. Hmm. Wonder if I can get away with no headlamp for the last two laps. I think I can. I'll do at least one more, analyse the situation, and go from there. 
I'm nearly at the end of this loop now. Welcome to my other hill. So I'll be coming back up this way of the third loop and then do the normal loop the next time around. So I'll run straight to the car, drop this off. I've got feelings like I want to disconnect for the, for the last two laps, but I feel like I did on the last one a little bit. And yeah. Maybe I'll disconnect more. I'll stop thinking about recording something. <laughs> There's a couple of things I haven't said though. Something that I might keep in here for my 100. Something I want to do. I have to wait until I finish my first 100. Or until I'm about to finish my first 100. I hope to God it's this year. I'll just have to see. Whew. I wonder if that other, yeah, that other car is still here. Alright guys, see you at the end. Hey guys, so just a quick recap for the end of this video. Overall I was really happy with the uh, new Hokers, they turned out to be quite well. There was a couple of times on the second, either third and fourth loop where I just naturally got into a nice groove and uh, I warmed up quite nicely and it was feeling really comfortable. So <laughs> it's kind of interesting for that to happen after yesterday's hill efforts and then to be backing it up with another hilly run. Uh, yeah, really happy with them. I'm going to keep breaking them in. Tomorrow, I am going for a swim and a nice relaxing sit in the sauna for a little bit. I'm going to check to see what times they open. I am working at 9 o'clock, so I might be able to do that before work. That'd be cool. That'd be a good way to start the day, go for a swim, sit in the sauna, come home, have a shower, go to work. If that doesn't work out, I'll just go to the pool after work, I guess. Maybe have a bit more of a sleep in or a bit more of a relax and reward myself with some exercise after work. Uh, anyway, I don't want to keep this video going for too much longer. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.